everybody. I'm Elizabeth Alfano. It's a plant-based business minute. Each week I break down the top three headlines in a minute or less. Let's get into it. Oh, politics are madness, and so is the European dairy lobby. They are advocating for something called Amendment 171, which if passes, and it is going to be talked about in the European Union on January 27th, if passed, it would prohibit plant-based dairy brands from actually showing their products in their advertisements. It would also prohibit them from comparing their carbon footprint to animal product carbon footprint, which goes completely against what the EU supposedly stands for, which is the production of sustainable foods. My business bottom line here here is that empowered consumers use their dollars to buy the products that they want, plant-based products, and they use your voice. So expect to see hashtags like stop AM 171 and stop plant-based censorship on socials along with pictures of their favorite plant-based dairy brands. All of this makes me wonder, I wonder if the European Union got the Veganuary memo. Oh my gosh, Veganuary started in the UK by Matthew Glover. It has now expanded to the US. It is the craze where people sign up to pledge to go vegan for the month of January. Thus far, they are up to 550,000 signatures. That's 10% more than half a million, and that's 40% more than last year. My business bottom line here is get with the plant-based a uh, dairy program EU, get with a plant-based dairy program. Who else is getting with the program? It's retailers that want to cha-ching, cha-ching, make money from plant-based brands. That's right. Hooray Foods Bacon goes to 300 Whole Foods outlets. Dr. Prager's is making plant-based pizza toppings for everybody through food service. Morningstar plant-based breakfast patty goes to Dunkin' Donuts and the Very Good Butchers. They are always in the news. They're the Canadian plant-based meat company. They've just purchased Canadian cultured nut cheese company. My business bottom line, here about six months ago. The Very Good Butchers IPO'd at about 25 cents American. Now their stock price hovers at around $6.40 American. If you get on early, you are happy with those numbers and the rest of you do the math. That's the Plant-Based Business Minute. I'm Elizabeth Alfano. If you would like a deeper dive into plant-based business, please subscribe to the Plant-Based Business Hour wherever you get your podcast. And if you're a small plant-based business or large meat and dairy and you're looking to navigate the plant-based landscape, please reach out to me and my team on LinkedIn. We at Plant Powered Consulting are here to help you with media, marketing strategy, general business strategy, and so much more. Until I see you all again next week, this is the Plant-Based Business Minute. Together, we're taking back our health, the health of the planet, and the health of our bottom line.